All right, guys, it's finally here. We have Saijin Mod 11 on the HTC One M8. Super, super excited about this. I've actually already got it installed. I've actually been running the uh, pre-release um, before the nightly came out. I found it online by one of the developers that's working on it and was able to get it running. So I've been running it for a couple days now. It is awesome because it is Saijin Mod 11. All right, so that being said, today I'm going to actually go ahead and go through Saijin Mod 11 with you guys just a little bit. Um, and talk to you about it then I'm going to show you how to install it. and actually we're going to install it today differently than I normally do we're going to install it today with twerp manager cool application um, and just kind of change it up so let's go ahead and get into this all right so here we go we have the ROM like I was telling you um, let's go ahead and check out some of the stuff in CM11. Uh, it is an awesome, awesome application. It does have all of your cool uh, toggles and stuff here. Um, if you want to add any, you can just tap right there and hit add and pick anything that's not not on here yet. You know, maybe I want to add NFC and it'll be in there. Hit back and now you have NFC tags added in there. Um, love it, love it. Like I said. Uh, Side Jamat is just full of customization. That is the beauty of it. And really, the section you want to look at in settings is right here. It's called personalization. And that has all of your fun uh, customization in it right there. The rest of the stuff in here is pretty standard. The only things I really like to point out in Side Jamat is to turn on developer options by tapping your build number. Right, where is it at? Build number right here. About 10 times makes you a developer. Go into developer options, turn on advanced reboot, turn it on, turn on um, ADB debugging or Android debugging, get those things turned on, you know, check out your performance control stuff, you want to adjust your CPU processor and all that kind of stuff, it is very fun, governor, schedulers, all that. Super Sue is obviously included in here, you can see some applications I've already used uh, root access with. And then, like I said, we'll come back up here to the personalization. So the first one is you have, um, pick your home launcher. Trebuchet launcher comes default with Saijin mod, so it is on there right now. That is my default launcher. And then you have all your lock screen customization stuff, you know, adding widgets to your lock screen and um, maybe like your slide shortcuts. So when you, you know, scroll up, you hit that one or that one or camera or unlock, and you can add another one. So we'll say... You can pick an activity, you can pick any of these things. You can pick an actual application. So maybe you want internet to be at the top, okay. And now you can see it's internet. But maybe you want to actually change that to a white icon. So we'll go system icon and chrome and okay. And there you go, now you've got it. So it is very cool, like I said, tons and tons of customization in here. Um, let's go into uh, themes. And I actually did download one theme just to show you how this works. These themes uh, you actually download from the Play Store. And um, I don't really normally show you guys this actually. This is kind of unusual for me to show you these. Normally I don't do that. But you download this from the Play Store. Um, and just, just Google or you know go to the Play Store and search uh, CM11 theme. And you'll see a ton of them. This is one I just did. And it's actually pretty cool. So you just select it and it's called uh, Cyan Orange Cobalt. And then you just click this button. You will get a lot of these that say there's errors, but just apply them anyway. And shabam. Alright, so you can see my uh, navigation stuff down there is changed. All of my settings, the way it looks, is all changed. Wallpapers are changed. Icons are changed. Um, all my quick toggles are changed and themed. This little bar on the bottom looks really cool. I like it. How it kind of glows as you bring it up. Um, very, very cool. And then you got all your icons up here, all themed as well. Um, definitely liking this. I, I like how cool it is. That's that's how you theme with this theme chooser. And if you want to go back, it's as simple as two clicks, and bam, you're going to be back to the exact same looking setup you had before. So very very cool. Um, lastly, in settings, we'll just go ahead and show you the interface. This is where you change things like your status bar, your uh, clock style. So or battery style. Let's go to just a landscape. You can see it changes your battery up there. I really like the circle though, so I'll go back to that. Um, different options in here. Again, you can go back to your quick panel stuff and different like tile layouts, so you can get to this again from in here. 
Um, a whole bunch of other options in here that you can get into that are really nice. Button layout. Here you can go ahead and, that actually does a reset, um, unlock it and then you can change and add different menus and search buttons if you want to have them all in there or you can just um, rearrange them so maybe you like that layout instead and then you can just lock them again and now you just change your order of your navigation keys very easy very simple very cool to do so there you go now I just change those around you can see they got flip flopped um, but that is basically your interface with this thing this is really the beauty of it. The customization is the fun, the fun stuff when it comes down to side and mod. All right, so here you go. That's what we've got, right? So I was going to tell you how to install this thing, and we're going to do it like I said in um, Torp Manager, a really cool application. I actually did a review on it just recently on my Nexus 7, but it does work on this device. So to get side and mod installed. Basically, you need to download the ROM. So I'm going to show you where mine's at. Here's my SD card. Go into Downloads. And I actually have two different side and mods. This is the pre-release, the unofficial. And then over there is the official ROM. So download that. And then you got to download the Google Applications or GAPS. And they have to be the KitKat version. And again, you know, I, I'll always put links in the video description for everything you guys are going to need. You can get these official nightlies from the side and mod website. All right, so we've got everything here. That's what you need to have on your device. Other thing I would recommend is to have a backup made. So I'm going to show you where I've got mine right now. Here's a CM backup right there. Very, very cool. Um, but we're going to go ahead and run a new backup and do everything, like I said, in this manager. So make sure you have all your files downloaded. And then you can get into this and do this the standard way through Torp or Clockwork Mod Recovery. I'm just going to show you a different way today. So we're going to go into Torp Manager and we're going to go into Install. A little just note, not really a big deal. Um, and we're going to do everything we need to do to set this up. So first of all, I'm going to check a backup. So I'm going to name my backup that and then I'm going to name it CM. I can type correctly 11 and hit done and I'm going to check cache recovery enable MD5 and Android secure I'm gonna hit backup now all right so then backup is in there and you can see it's got the full name of the backup and then I'm going to go ahead and do wipe data wipe cache wipe Delvic then I'm gonna add a zip and I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to find, see there's the unofficial, I'm going to do the nightly, normal for this. And then I'm going to add another zip, and again in here, and then I'm going to find the Google applications, there they are, KitKat, say normal. Now, depending on your file browser, you may have to not have to click that little normal thing, that's just how it is in uh, ES File Browser, which is my favorite file browser. All right, so from here, this is going to be the super fast. It's everything is set up. You can see your stuff listed. You can see your Android backup. All right, and obviously prerequisites for this. If you haven't been following me, you have to have um, an unlocked bootloader and you have to have Torp Recovery installed to use Torp Manager. If you don't, you'll have to do it the standard way of flashing around. You know, boot into Recovery, flash Delvic, or make a backup, wipe data, cache Delvic, flash ROM and uh, Google applications and reboot all right, so it's the same process. This is just automating everything for you It's very very cool. So all we're gonna do right now is hit the flash now button and watch it in fast 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 motion guys there it is that is how to install a ROM and do a backup all 100% automated with Torp manager and how to install CM11 on the HTC one M8 so from here all you got to do is just skip through all of your initial setup stuff and you will be in the ROM 
I skipped too fast, I think. There we go. And a couple little things, and shabam. That's it. This thing is 100% uh, functional from what I've seen. I've tested it for a couple days, had no issues with it whatsoever. Been running really, really well for me. Um, hope you guys uh, like this cool little video here of using Tort Manager and installing CM11 on your device. If you are completely lost by any of this that I'm talking about, please go back, watch my playlist on this device. I cover everything so far that's come out on this device basically. Um, root access, unlocking bootloaders, SF, all the fun stuff, custom recovery installs, everything you're going to need to be able to do this, definitely check out my playlist on it. Um, please stay tuned for more on the HTC One M8. I'll be doing more ROM installs and reviews on it. Um, definitely a lot of cool videos to come. Please subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.